Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. Last week I only bought one car locally. That's uh, this one in the uh, stupid toy store packaging. So as I mentioned in the previous Chase report, uh, these were priced down at the uh, Colred supermarkets. One and a half euro to 95 cents. And I did not have this one yet. This is the uh, Ford F-150 in black. A little bit of plastic hanging on the side there. So it's got a tonneau cover, no interior. Got the tail lights that wrap around the back and same with the headlights and the Ford logo. It is very nicely done, I must say. So looks okay. And then this week I decided it was time to go to Germany again for the first time since November 2021. Uh, so the uh, COVID restrictions have been lifted in my area, so I thought it was uh, time to uh, to go back abroad. So uh, this is also a RMZ city, just like uh, the uh, Ford F-150. I did not show you the base. There you go. These are sold in uh, a store called Euro Shop for one euro and ten cents. This is the Mercedes AMG GTS and a hot speed packaging this is uh well it doesn't say what year of release i think it's 2020 so this is a metallic blue i have it in red and in a metallic gray without the clear coat very nicely done front end there got some black and some silver paint no interior also on this one and then in tail lights just in the back. Also from Euroshop, this uh, 2020 Audi TT RS Coupe from 2021. I missed out on this one. Um, so I uh, was happy to find it. And uh, strangely enough, they had a bunch of these. And they also had a bunch of these and a bunch of these. And same thing with the Muller drugstores on their website. They had these three cars for sale. And what I think, I'm not sure about that, but I think Germany got straight packs of just these three cars. So boxes full of these cars only. So not an assortment, but just these three cars in a box. That's for me the only explanation why there were so many of these around in the Euroshop and at Muller. Anyways, let's take a look. A little protector there, always good to see. Nice baby blue color. So we get details front and back. Nicely done, nice casting. Really like this one. So uh, up until a few weeks ago, I did not have any example of this and I have the a metallic orange one, the blue one, and we will see the red one here opened up later on. Also from 2021, a few cars I missed out on. Uh, these were for sale at Woolworth for one euro and 29 cents. The uh, 2019 Jeep Renegade. Nice red color. Details front and back. Jeep on the license plate, 4x4, it says on the lift gate, so we got a partially plastic roof and the uh, wheel arches and uh, running boards, well they're not running boards, The um, I can't come up with the name, part of the interior. The 35 Ford pickup, also from that same store. Got a bunch of these still hanging on the pegs there. And of a pale red without clear coat. Just a side deco. Hot matchbox swap meet special. And then there's something written underneath it seems, but I can't read that. Seems to be in a Arabic or something. Hey, it's a different color on the other side. That's cool. It's got a blue door. Awesome. Other than that, 
this casting does not do much for me but you know it's licensed so I'm buying it very pleased to find this the 2018 Ford Mustang convertible in that same store still missing the blue coupe so metal flake black with gold rims details front and back got the pony on the license plate okay looking interior no cutouts in the floor that's a good thing so you get the pedals just all in the in one piece there oh no they are on the floor there is a cutout sorry there's a cutout on the left but not on the right anyways and the 1961 Ford Ranchero also from uh, Woolworth same baby blue color this one gets side deco we got the uh, Ranchero there on the front fender and uh, door handle door lock fuel filler cap here in the back it seems yeah and then details on the back nothing in the bed the white base so we get the white front end looks kind of weird with the bumpers but you know then we get to 2022 a case 2019 Audi TT RS coupe or coupe also has a protecto so it's not a very bright red it's kind of a toned down red does get the red for the tail lights that's a nice touch that we get red on red they often do not do that but it is hard to see the the red stripe there you can see it more easily on the blue one and there's also some red in the RS there that of course is not no noticeable on the red one but all in all, not a bad job. Our matchbox. New casting, 1994 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Also in metallic black. Very nicely detailed in the back with the uh, Mitsubishi logo on the license plate. Got a gray interior and we get a side deco this um, orange side light and then we get probably a top deco or maybe a front deco not sure the uh, logo again so basically we get four sides on this four tempo passes so that's cool and it got lens headlights of course really nice model looking forward to see some uh, actual color on this also new casting the 1949 Curtis sports car so this has an interesting construction because it's got the red base but then there's a chrome piece between the um, the base and the, the body and the interior so you get the chrome floor there and then the tan interior nice red metal body and then the chrome in between very nicely detailed in the back there got the Curtis on the license plate Curtis on the back here in uh, silver tail lights done got this uh, strange grill piece on the back in chrome and the chrome wraps all around headlights are done same Curtis banner there on the front that's a pretty cool casting kind of reminds me of the uh, Citroën DS convertible a little bit definitely in the back so that would be uh, great if uh, Matchbox did, uh, did that uh, Citro Citroën it's also a rare convertible so maybe not as rare as this Curtis but you know 
quite up there amongst the rare ones. It's cool, it's quite a small model. I don't know how big the how big or small the real one is, but I like it. Staying with convertibles, yeah, we just I, I sorted them by theme, so we got two sports cars, the TT and the 3000 GT, and now we got two convertibles. 2019 Volkswagen Beetle convertible in this uh, metallic orange with uh, the disc wheels or the hubcap wheels or dog dish wheels, whatever you want to call them. Again, nicely done details. VW Life on the license plate. Seems like they are doing an effort to make the steering wheels look halfway decent. Those discs they use. There's some texture in there. Then we get to uh, two vans. The Ice Cream King. Uh, I don't buy the uh, Hot Wheels food truck anymore, but I do uh, buy the Matchbox one still. Yes, I know. I'm a little biased to Matchbox. So this uh, got the kind of a light brown metal base and then the slightly darker brown plastic body. Choco Mocha coffee bar established 1998. Hot chocolate espresso, cappuccino, coffee, and more order here. So apparently you have to order in this window, judging by the arrow, which is kind of strange because strange you would uh, expect to have to order in the back. Then there's a whole list of stuff here, if you want to read all that, freeze the frame, and then it's slightly different on the other side, same on the doors. This is a little bit more to the back. Hot chocolate coffee and cappuccino. A coffee banner here on top. Oh, that's the same here apparently. Yeah, so slightly different, but not that different. Cool. Does still look like a, an ice cream truck on the inside though. Another coffee bar, but you know, they're not going to change the interior just for a, for a different livery, right? Kind of the UPS poop brown color doesn't look that tasty. And the second van is the Nissan NV van. Also got the Protecto. So we got a metal body still, plastic base, no interior because there's a lot of real estate on this one, so they have to cut out the interior to uh, remain within budget. Matchbox Adventure Tours, New Zealand Tourist Association. Look at that. So this might be a uh, kind of a licensed livery, who knows. Interesting. NZTA. Let me see if I can grab the box and see if there's a license on the back of NZTA. I don't see anything here at first sight. Hmm. No, not really. Uh, same on the other side, tempo wise, so just a side deco. New casting 2018 Dodge Durango. So now we get, get to the SUVs, two of them also. Protecto, metallic black. Taillights are done. There's a license plate there. Don't know what the number is. Is it the num model number? No, it's not. Little sunroof there, so part of the uh, uh, window piece. Doesn't seem to have an interior either, because again, lots of real estate on this one. And then uh, the details in the front. Grill looks pretty plain. I don't know the real vehicle. We don't have these here, so I don't know if that's realistic or accurately looking, but you know, it's just very plain here. No structure in there or anything. But, 
uh, got a nice weight to it. I like it. It's got a trailer hitch also. And the second SUV is a 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility in NYPD livery. Again, nice little protector. Doing a good job at uh, protecting these for us collectors. Dog dish steelies. So the usual stuff is on there that uh, you get with these N NYPD ones. Light bar, a little bit smoked, just like the windows are lightly smoked. Trailer hitch, push bar in front, just the side deco. Same on both sides. And then we get to, to pickup trucks. 95 Nissan hard body, hard body D21 in white. So got some stuff in the back there. Got the typical deco on the side that we've seen on uh, lots of these. So pretty basic. So has the sunroof and the trailer hitch. And the second pickup is the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Nice green metallic with uh, these uh, kind of gray shiny gray rims still can't get used to the fact that there's no doors on this it's just so weird it's got a Rubicon there and then the uh, lots of details on the side but that's the only side we're getting details on or tampos on front and back just painted green then we get to Hot Wheels so, uh, by the way, I did not mention that um, all the cards I'm showing that is, has no price on them were just one euro. And then the other ones that have a price on them are, uh, well, the price you could you see on the card. 2021, a few ones I, uh, I did not have. The uh, 1985 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z or Z. This is a, a cool casting and uh, yeah, they often do nice colors on these. Got the red one but uh, missed out on the blue one. Here it is. So we get side deco and top deco. And also from 2021 the Shelby Cobra 427 SC. 250 of 250. Last one of 2021. So this one has the really big off-road wheels. Looks kind of goofy. That's why I only wanted to buy it when I could find it for one euro. Didn't want to spend more than that. And it's a little bit light on the paint here on this side. Don't know if it shows up on camera. So we got side deco and top deco. Chrome side exhaust, that's cool. This was also a uh, super treasure hunt, I believe. Not this particular one, of course. Then we get to 2022, and we start with the A case. The Mighty K. It's the only one I found, and uh, yeah, it's got the usual white paint issues. That means paint chips all around. So, look at a gray base. New casting and the Rears Rides theme. Asada Tire Shop on the uh, tailgate. Japanese license plate, so we got the first paint chip here. Some Japanese writing on the side, probably says Hot Wheels. Got a spare wheel and a toolbox there and a uh, skateboard. Lens headlights. And we got some paint loss here on the left mirror. And we got some paint loss here on top on this little wing. Or spoiler, I should say, probably. Cool casting. 
looks cute. And then we got, still from the AKs, the tuned Volkswagen Golf Mark IV. Sorry, Mark One. Also in the reuse rides. Kind of a sub theme because the actual theme is tuned, but then we also got that theme. Red base. And then funny looking vehicle this is. Very tiny wheels and kind of a bronze color. This is Rio on the side. 68. Spare wheel in the back. Little plastic spoiler. Exhaust pointing upwards. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Like it. Then the 2019 Mercedes Benz A Class. This was 1 euro and 49 cents from uh, a store called Kick. Still A Case. Well, A Case Mini made it made its debut in the A Case, but would have been seen in the, the next case and maybe other cases too. So I figured this would be a popular one because it's a nice blue color. It's got the white stripe on it. Uh, the other colors were not that popular, but uh, this one seems to be much more popular. Hot Wheels Mercedes-Benz 021 on the license plate. Kind of a German style license plate. Yeah, looks really good. And also from Kick. For that same price, the 1973 BMW 3 liter CSL race car. I figured I wasn't going to find this one in the 1 euro store, so I picked it up. We are at B case now. This was also a super treasure hunt, so I knew when I found it, I had to pick it up, whatever price it was. But still, 1 euro and 49 cents is, uh, is cheap for Europe. So we got a red base. We got the yellow metal body, got the tail lights are part of the window piece and the headlights are too with a part of the grill. Kidneys are a part of the metal body. 73 on it. Cool. Dodge van, rear rides also. C case we are at now. Looks cool in metallic purple. Still got the chrome interior with the, uh, the carton there on top of the spare wheels. Got details on the front and on the sides. Also a rear rides the Nissan R390 GT1. Still in C. Black base, white body, grey rims. Amazed that we still get this in a uh, kind of a streetcar livery and not a racing livery. I prefer it in the, in the kind of a like this in the car livery got me another 1994 Bugatti EB 110 SS also rear right because the one I got at Namak had a paint chip so I was fortunate enough enough to uh, found, find uh, a handful of these after searching very hard and looking through hundreds of cars that day and uh, this one is in a pretty good condition I must say not a lot going wrong with it a little bit of a paint defect here but it's minor not missing any paint it seems so yeah, happy 
2021 Ford Bronco still C case mud studs series got uh, not brown tires but kind of gray brown tires mud splatters it says Bronco in the front there nothing paint wise on the back so got mud splatters on it interesting color it's kind of a grayish blue but it looks good I must say like it just think the tires would be better um, brown and not this kind of lighter color if they want to match the mud splatters I should have made them brown I think but anyways very pleased to have found this the 2020 Toyota Tacoma still C case this is awesome new casting details in the front and in the back got the sunroof got this black part probably part of the interior no that is for the uh, intercooler or what Sweet. CK still Ford Mustang Mach E 1400 Green Speed Series. This one was a hard one to find. Black base, a lot of plastic on it, so half of the rear end is plastic. Do get the metal wing, and then the side skirts here are plastic part of the wheel arch and then half of the front end is plastic too get just a well actually I was going to say there's only black paint there for the grill but there's a blue pony on there it's hard to see but it is there and then we get the top tempo for performance and side tempo So we get four sides on this one. It's not bad for mainline, although we do get a lot of plastic, so you know, kind of evens it out, I guess. 1956 Ford F100, still C case, Moon Eyes livery. Flat red, a little dirty on top there. Uh, still has a lot of metal on it that's why I buy it and you know it's a van so I like to collect fans unusual to see it in red for a moon eyes Hot Wheels Body Shop El Segundo California chrome interior so we get the chrome engine piece it also has a top tempo here these stripes Then we get to D case, 2009 Ford F-150. Usually I'm not fond of company names that are kind of big on the vehicles, but uh, this blue with the yellow, it just combines very well. Almost seems to support a um, certain cause. Goodyear Ford. I don't know what that logo is on the back here. That's probably a Goodyear logo. Oh yeah, it is. It says it's the logo here in the middle of uh, Good and Year. It has that on the back, and then the yellow line wraps around. That's very nicely done. And the chrome, of course, sets it off. Chrome running boards, chrome bumper and grill in the front, chrome bumper in the back, chrome bed base or bottom, and then the interior. Just, uh, yeah, looks good to me. Here's the Ain't Fair. I did not have an example of this. I wanted to have an example for my bus video. I would have preferred a school bus livery. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels Airlines livery, but it does have the school bus yellow on top. 
So that'll have to do because uh, well, I don't think they'll be doing a school bus livery anytime soon. So it's got the bike, the bicycle in the front and then the engine exposed in the back and just a few seats in there. I will open this up in the bus video. Very pleased to find the Mercedes-Benz 500e in red. Still the case. I found about you know, six of these. I was tempted to take all of them, but I just left the others behind for other collectors. So we got the deco in the front and the indicators that wrap around the corner front and back and part of the tail lights so to me this uh, seems to be a uh, full deco vehicle that's nice lots of details on the back there hot wheels on the license plate got two exhausts here sticking out of the bumper really a lot of metal on this one you know it's just all the way to the bumper in the front and in the back it's metal so no plastic bumpers or anything or just sometimes they do the spoiler lip in plastic but it's just got full metal body rocker panels too yeah that's great very nicely done model I really like it missed out on the silver one unfortunately but you know at least I got the black one and the red one Toyota Land Cruiser 80 also was very pleased to find this. This one's got a cracked blister, so I'll always take the, uh, the broken blisters if I can, uh, because, you know, I'm going to open it up anyways. Still the case. Kind of a tan color, muddy tires with uh, some bronze on them. Big spare wheel. That's probably part of the interior. So this is also a new casting. I like what uh, Hot Wheels is doing with their Toyota license. So I got three tempo passes on the side, on the front. Got a little winch there too. Overland Adventure. Jilu, Jimilu. Cool. So has the sunroof. Typical for vehicles back then. Some don't like the muddy tires, you know, but if you got the mud splatters on the side, why not have the muddy tires? I don't mind them that much. They're off-roaders, right? Then Still the case, the Mazda RX-7, another blue one, I've already gotten lots of blue RX-7s, but you know, I don't mind, it's still a great model, it's got some uh, kind of a silverish blue details on there too. And the custom 2001 Acura Integra GSR. This is kind of a, I would say a peg warmer, but uh, well, most of these are not on pegs, but in bins, so a bin warmer. Decase. Metallic green. I see it has a paint issue there on top. You can see that. So side deco and rear deco. Nothing in the front. And the Nissan Leaf Nismo RC02 D case. So it got a different deco left and right. 
and nothing on the back it looks really plain like that I must say so plastic top not metal wing Nissan logo embossed in the front there here we got the coupe clip DK so as you can see here it is a keychain so why not put it on my keys immediately so here's the keys of the trusty 2017 Honda Civic station wagon I've got this COVID thing hanging on there so let's take that off and uh, swap it out with the coupe clip hopefully don't need that anymore let's see if we can do this easily yeah works very well so it's all metal so it's got a nice weight to it kind of represents a uh, sports car from the I don't know 70s maybe just looks good it's got the roundel nothing on there that roundel will probably scrape off very easily but uh, you know it's uh, a new casting and I like it. I think the red next one will be red. And uh, yeah, just uh, just look looks good on there. I like it. Next up, Toyota AE86 Sprinter. True, no, nope. hot hatchbacks. Really looking forward to other cars in this set. E case. Got the tiny bronze wheels, side deco and rear deco. That's nice. Apex twin cam. Cool. Here we got the Cockney Cab 2. I did not have an example of this casting and uh, you know kind of wanted to wait till I found a good one and this is definitely a good looking version of it in the kind of the Union Jack livery and colors so I will open this up in the taxi video it's a pretty goofy London cab ish looking vehicle but uh, yeah I need to have an example of it got the unpainted metal base and then plastic body Austin Martin Valhalla concept so the rest of them will all be EKs because that's the most recent stuff uh, that we're getting in Europe it's kind of celebrating 60 years of uh, Bond 007 uh, that's interesting it says it on the front here too no time to die The only one I found so uh, of course I grabbed it it's not perfect it's got some issues here that's often with new castings that they have uh, uh, molding issues and there's uh, some uh, scratches here on top too oh, well at least I got one got some silver details on it for the taillights there in the back very strange diffuser look at that wow you can hide uh, person in there this is plastic part of the interior I'm guessing that's just uh, sticking out there that's kind of disappointing it does have a metal roof at least and then we got more plastic here in the front headlights Austin Martin logo and uh, this daylight uh, headlight sorry is a little bit uh, smushy Oh well, maybe I'll find a better one later on. See, issues here too, on the same spot on the other side. So yeah, I think this casting needs some uh, work still to uh, to have a good one, good example. Anyways. 
2020 Corvette. So probably very similar to the Matchbox one. Very nice blue color. Got a bigger wheel in the back and a small wheel in the front. I thought they quit doing that, but apparently they still do. It's a little bit disappointing, I have to say. Details in the back. And then this is probably a top tempo for the headlights and the Corvette logo. Because the grills are not painted in the front, so just basically two tempo passes yeah get to see the engine in the back there it's okay but no I might like the matchbox one better LB Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15 Liberty Walk and some other licenses there not a huge fan of silhouette cars but you know uh, I had to have an example got lensed tail lights part of the window piece and same with the headlights so got the snow shovel in the front and the shopping cart handle in the back not much more to say about it this was a really pleasant surprise the 1970 Chevelle SS wagon a blue station wagon holy moly yeah I was really surprised by that it's been a while since they used this casting I have a few examples of it and uh, well it looks really good like this it does not have a post in the back it's got the clip part of the metal body that clips into the plastic chrome base that is absolutely awesome it's got chrome in the back it's got chrome in the front it's got some spare parts here in the back it seems it seems to be engine parts that's cool no bench seat in the front it's uh, separate seats simple deco but you know it works it just works yeah don't mind having a uh, bigger wheels on this one kind of works with the the heavy back end you know seems almost like it needs those bigger wheels to carry the the load of all the weight back there of course Corvette also has a lot of weight in the back because it's got the uh, engine here just in front of the rear axle so you could argue that too but anyways last uh, e-case model also in the rear's rides, 1991 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Uh, it's got Mad Mike on there since 1993. And lots of uh, licenses on this one too. So we got three tempo passes, got a teal base white plain white body uh, no details in the back tempo wise nor in the front although the side tempo kind of wraps around nicely here definitely not my favorite version of this got the mismatched wheels in several colors and you know it's white and black that's not my favorite either uh, at least with the teal base we got some color but you know doesn't really uh, suit the rest of the vehicle so yeah bit of a goofy one but I like the casting missed out on the treasure hunt last year the red one that's a bummer but anyways it's okay then also bought this mystery models 
Series 3 from 2021. 1 euro 99 cents. This is the Supervolt. Uh, I will open this up in the uh, hybrid and electric cars video. And at Rofu I found a Majorat Deluxe car. The uh, Lamborghini Sian FKP37. The green version. I already got the red version. That's a Muller exclusive. And so now I got the kind of regular release. So that is a, a sweet find. Totally did not expect that. For Euro 99, that's an okay price for a deluxe car. I'll happily pay that. Packaging date October 18, 2021. So that's uh, pretty recent stuff. And then some of you will have been wondering what's in the paper bag. So this is a paper bag from Muller Drugstores and I did this for the first time I this was uh, I knew this was possible but never uh, made use of this service before but you can go to their website and have stuff delivered to a certain location of theirs and so usually I'm too late when I decide to go to Germany um, by the time I order it and it's in the store um, you know it's uh, it's too late um, but this time I managed to order this and it have it delivered in the store the same day I was in Germany got an email that it arrived on time like they said it would just German efficiency right and uh, picked it up no problem so very good service so I think I'm going to use that more in the future because uh, you know um, not all the stuff that is on the website is available in the stores they've got much more stuff online than they have in the store so that's a interesting uh, service there so let's see what I got here easy opening baggie and what I got is this Schuko Porsche 356 uh, in a kind of a building kit. Did not have an example of uh, these building kits. Uh, these are at normal price 14 euro and 99 cents. That's for starters way too expensive for Schuko. And secondly, uh, I have to put it put it together myself. So you're saving on the labor cost, and you let me. And charge me more for it that just doesn't work anyway, I'm joking body cuts are always more expensive anyways uh, was reduced from 14 euro 99 to 9 euro and uh, because I picked it up in Germany it's with the German VAT so it's a little bit cheaper than um, here locally it would be uh, so you can see edition 164 kit Porsche 356 so let's put this together right first time ever putting one of these Schuko kits together they had a Unimog one don't have that one and a uh, VW bus um, type 2 T1 don't have that one either so it comes with an instruction for the dummies like me who uh, are not used to doing this kind of stuff so we first take the body, so this is what it looks like, got the base, with the axles already on there, so it's really easy, right? Uh, got the metal body, got the window piece, got the interior, got a few screws, and then we even got a uh, screwdriver with it. I mean, that's probably why it's for 15 euro. I mean, who doesn't have a screwdriver, right? Anyways, hold the body up like that, drop in the window piece in the correct way preferably um, okay it's got a little pin in the middle there that has to fit on there yeah like that then we put the interior in also in the preferably in the correct way and then we put it on the body so we've got a metal base got a nice metallic sound to it like that then we uh, unite these two like that. Mm, do we have to? Oh yeah, see these exhausts here. 
they're going to be a little bit of a hassle I think as you can see one of them is uh, crooked so I'm not sure if I will be able to build this because I think this is going to push the uh, the back side out of alignment yeah it is see if I push it together it fits nicely in the front but in the back it sits lower because it cannot go over the um, the exhaust pieces because uh, one of them is crooked so I have to put this together off camera when I fix the uh, the thing in the back it's got the uh, separate bumpers on there this one is a bit high up it seems front one is a bit uh, downward got the lensed headlights nice tan interior so uh, these, this color is exclusive to this body kit so if you want to have this blue one you gotta buy that body kit all in all nicely done details thanks for watching bye